I'm actually going to be taking over my first campaign. I got my degree in the mail yesterday. So, uh, let's talk about Cycle Bar. So. And if you're not, welcome back. Welcome to another vlog. So today I'm sharing with you guys another day in my life. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a couple days, so I feel like it was time to do another day in my life. So anyway, today is Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday. Um, let me quickly show you my little outfit of the day. So for today's outfit, we are just wearing this really cute romper. I got this from Princess Polly last year. They might still have it on their website because sometimes, you know, they do keep things on there for longer, but it's like this linen little romper. It's really cute, kind of looks like a dress, but it's very comfortable. So that's what we're wearing today. And then of course, just my little target slippers for around the house. I threw my hair up in a little bun because, oh my gosh, I'm having big hair struggles here in Florida. My hair has just gotten very, very frizzy. It doesn't feel nice and soft anymore like it used to in Connecticut. And I mean, I'm using good shampoo and conditioner and I just think I need a, a really good like anti-frizz serum or something. So if you guys know of any products, please let me know because it's getting to the point where I think I'm gonna start wearing my hair like in a bun almost every day because my hair is just so frizzy. And then obviously I go to the beach almost every day and like I don't necessarily get in the water and get my hair wet but I don't know it's just crazy from the wind and it just feels really gross but I'm not gonna wash it until tonight because I actually am going to cycle bar tonight for the first time ever so I'm really excited so it's gonna be my first time doing a spin class but I'm super excited to try it there's one pretty close to where we live so I signed up for a free class and we'll see if I like it I really hope I do so that's something fun that we're gonna be doing tonight after work so yeah, but please seriously help me out. My hair is literally crazy, so that's why it is up in a bun. So anyway, <laughs> good morning, and yeah, welcome to another vlog. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe, and we're gonna start the day with making an acai bowl. I'm really hungry. I haven't had any breakfast yet, so I'm gonna go and make one. We got a new blender like a couple days ago, so we've used it and it's so good and so powerful. I'll have it linked to my Amazon shop page because that's where we got it from. It's just like a huge Nutribullet, but it has like different sections that allows for like smaller smoothies to be made, which is good. So I'm gonna use that to make a little smoothie bowl. So excuse the dishwasher being on, but this is our new Nutribullet. It literally is so good. It's probably the best thing we've ever bought because seriously, our other one struggled to blend a banana. That's how bad it was, so we got a new one. And anyway, this is what we're gonna be putting into the acai bowl today. So I have these acai packets from Trader Joe's. They're very affordable there, so I'm gonna use this. Some frozen strawberries, a little bit of honey because it's not very sweet, so I like to add a little bit. Some granola on top, um, a little bit of milk, and then I'm gonna put a banana on top as well. So I'm gonna get to blending this. Here is the finished product, it looks super good. It's a little bit more runny than I would like, um, but that's because I added too much milk, so that's on me. But here is this morning's breakfast. And now I'm just going to walk you guys through my day. I always start my day off by just like looking at um, my emails, my calendar, everything like that, just responding to anything that I got you know, over the night, since some people love to email me at like nine o'clock at night. Um, but I don't normally respond until the next morning unless it's like super urgent. Um, yeah, so anyway, today I have a lot of meetings. So I have one at nine, which is just like a weekly check-in meeting. I have one at 10, which is a marketing and sales meeting. It goes for an hour and we just really discuss like next steps for campaigns, everything like that. 
and just update each other on what is happening. And then I have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my boss at 11.30. <laughs> and then at 1 p.m. I have a meeting about the website. Um, we have a new guy who has recently joined, so I'm gonna walk him through um, kind of what we're doing with the website. So he is up to date on all things website and one of the products that we're trying to sell on there. So that's kind of my day in terms of meetings. Other than that, um, I'm going to prep for a meeting in a sec. I have to kind of put in updates from like our newsletter, how it did last week so I can kind of update the marketing and sales meeting. So I wanna be able to have all those numbers ready. And then today I am going to be sending over some blog posts for review. I'm going to be sending out the next month's social calendar. I need to do some edits to a sales to marketing brief for one of our campaigns that will be going out next quarter. I have to make some changes to one of our website pages. I'm gonna be doing some list building and then I need to work on some lead scoring with one of the developers. We're gonna be automating some lead scoring um, with one of the software, um, so with the software that we use. So that's kind of what I have going on today. So I'm pretty much gonna be eating my breakfast um, and then just kind of looking at how last week's campaigns did and just make sure I have all that information ready to go and into this Google Doc that we kind of all share our um, stats and everything on for the sales and marketing meeting. So with that all being said, I am gonna get started with my day and eat my breakfast and I'll speak to you guys probably later around lunch just because I have such a busy day. Um, I really just need to get a lot done and I just have a lot of meetings so that takes up a lot of my time. So. I want to make sure I'm obviously being productive during my other time, so I will speak to you guys later. So it is almost two o'clock. I'm finally just sitting down to have some lunch now. I'm just having some leftovers. Looks really good. So let me show you. So it was pretty much a really simple dinner from yesterday. It was just some rice, some ground turkey with what, taco seasoning on it? Was it taco seasoning, Jay? Yeah. Um, and then some broccoli, but we didn't really have a lot of broccoli left. So Justin cooked up some Brussels sprouts, or a ton of Brussels sprouts, as you can see, with a little bit of honey. And then I just put some sriracha all over it. So that is today's lunch. It looks very good and I'm very hungry. So just taking a quick break. I'm not really having much of a lunch break today um, just because I really have a lot to get done. And I've pretty much spent all morning in meetings, just meeting after meeting after meeting. And I just got out of another meeting. So now is my time to quickly eat. And then I have a lot of stuff to get done, but all my meetings went really well. My one-on-one -on -one with my boss went really well as well. It's also my three month review. So although I was already an intern there, so he was like, it's not really a review, but pretty much he thinks I'm doing great. And then I'm actually gonna be taking over my first campaign. Normally I help work on campaigns, but now I'm actually gonna be leading a campaign all on my own, which is really exciting. So I'm taking full ownership of one of these next campaigns that launches in April. So I have a lot to do, um, a lot of work to do around that. And then for the rest of the afternoon, I'm really just gonna be focused on, oh, I have so much to get done. I have like a lot of things to do. But right now I'm putting a document together on all sorts of insights that we've collected over the last couple of months and putting it all into one doc, putting it into a Google Doc so my boss can just access it anytime he wants. And <laughs> uh, let me check my to-do list. I have a lot of other stuff too. So I think I might just edit the sales to marketing brief and look at some lead scoring stuff because I have a meeting about that tomorrow. And... Oh, and I need to post to social. So that is gonna be the rest of my afternoon and I will talk to you guys when I'm done with the work day, but that's a, a recap. Wednesdays are always just a very busy day because it's just a ton of meetings and then normally my afternoons are spent just trying to get a lot of work done, but Thursdays are normally a little more chill, although I do have quite a few meetings tomorrow. So that is the update. And yeah, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> 
Hey everyone, so we just finished up the work day and you guys already know the drill. We are heading to the beach. We're literally like a minute away already. So yeah, anyway, work was, it was all right. It was pretty good. It was just very stressful. Like I feel a little bit overwhelmed just because, you know, I just finished work like a couple minutes ago and I'm still trying to like decompress from it. So yeah, there's definitely just a lot to do today, which means that I have a very busy day tomorrow, which I guess is a good thing. Um, Thursdays and Fridays normally are more relaxed for me. Obviously this Thursday and Friday will be a little different because I actually have a lot of stuff to get done, so I'm really going to have to be very productive. I think I really need a new workbook as well because right now I'm just using like a random A4 book that I used in college, but I think I need an actual like work planner just to have like a to-do list section and just like um, like a projects page or something like that. I really want to look at Target um, or Staples or something and get just something better because right now I look at my notebook and I just see scribbles everywhere and I'm like, well, this is a little stressful. Like, this seems crazy. What is this guy doing? Like, he's going like 10 miles an hour. Anyway, so we are almost at the beach. We're just going to chill at the beach for a little bit. Then we'll come back, have some dinner. Um, I think Justin said he's going to work out. And then I'm going to take you guys to a cycle bar class. Obviously, he won't be coming inside with me, but I'll be doing a review of my first cycle bar class, which I'm really excited about. So we're going to go get our tan on for a couple minutes, get some fresh air, decompress from the day, and I will speak to you guys later. shorts they are one of my favorites I really like these and I have some from Athleta and I really like them so I figured this was the perfect spin outfit and then I'm just wearing this Align top from Lululemon and again it's just super simple obviously it's gonna get really hot in there it was also like 88 degrees today so it's gonna be very warm so this is my outfit for spin so I'm gonna leave in a couple minutes and like I said I feel a little sick in my stomach I think because I just ate as well and then I'm a little nervous so yeah <laughs> I'm just weird I don't know why I'm nervous about a workout class but anyway I wanted to show you guys something so let me go show you so I got my degree in the mail yesterday so I wanted to show you guys I already showed everyone on Instagram and yeah so if you followed me on there you would have seen it already but it's officially here so here it is just my degree so that's really exciting now I just need to get a frame for it um, so we can hang it up and you need to get yours as well so you can hang it up I think with that being said I'm gonna put some shoes on and then I'm going to head out grab a mask because I'm because we'll, I'm assuming we'll have to wear a mask in there and then I will see you guys when I get there Whew, hello everyone it is now 7 30 I just got done with my class I okay number one can I just say how pretty the sky looks before I talk about my class so literally look at this it's 7 30 and it is not the sun has like i mean it's just set but i mean like come on the sky looks insane tonight it's so pretty and just and then just the palm trees just make it such a vibe it's so nice so anyway uh let's talk about cycle bar so holy crap i am dripping in sweat i i don't think i've ever done a workout that hard before like i this was tough. The, so one of the girls in the class, um, she was, I was in the second row, she was in the front row. I was admiring her so much. She was so good. She was so strong. She like didn't miss a thing. And I was just like, wow, like this girl is strong. She is amazing. So I was just like, oh, trying to even keep up. But I tried to take it easy. I was like, okay, don't push yourself because I didn't want to throw up. Like I already had dinner before I came, which was not the smartest thing, but 
Whew, I burnt a ton of calories. I felt so, not like sick, but I was so exhausted at like the 15 minute mark. I was tired. Then at the 20 minute mark, for some reason, I was like, oh my gosh, we only have 10 minutes left, but it's a 45 minute class. So I am literally so red. I'm so sticky. I'm so gross. Like these clothes are going to be put straight in the wash. But it was also so good. I honestly, like, I feel really good now that I'm done with it. And so I went ahead and booked a couple more classes. They were having this, like, crazy deal for St. Patrick's Day. Seven classes for $77. So if there's a cycle bar near you and it's doing this deal, just do it. Because that's so worth it. That's literally $11 a class. So I was just like, take my money. And, yeah, it was just a really tough workout. But I think... It's going to be really good to get just a lot of cardio in. And I don't know how often I'm going to do it, but I have seven classes. So I might do like one a week or two a week. I feel like I've got to do at least two a week. Otherwise, I think if I do one, it's going to be really hard the whole time. But there was a really nice guy in there. He set me up with my bike and um, they give you shoes when you get there. And oh, they also gave me a water bottle, which was so sweet. So it just is like the cycle bar water bottle. But that's, that was really cute and nice. Anyway, they were pretty nice in there. I didn't get to meet anyone. I mean, it obviously is COVID as well. Um, what was interesting was we took off our masks when we were actually riding. I was like, oh, I don't know how safe this is. I mean, like, we're all kind of distanced, but, like, we all had our masks off. So I don't know if that's, like, different, but every, everything else, like, we had to have our masks on. And it's probably good that we didn't have our masks on because I honestly don't know how you would breathe with doing a cycle bar class and having a mask on but overall it was a good experience uh, I definitely recommend you guys do it push yourself because wow like this was an insane workout my abs feel so good right now and holy crap my legs are going to be so toned like so toned so yeah anyway I'm dripping in sweat I need to start the car I need some aircon I'm probably going to go home and edit this vlog and also edit um my what am I editing what did I film yesterday my uh oh yeah updated like how I edit my Instagram photos that'll be up before this vlog so I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much spend the rest of the night just like doing those videos and then I think that's about it for this vlog I just kind of wanted to give you a review of cycle bar I'll probably go another you know one to two classes then probably buy another package but honestly this was such a good deal I just didn't want to pass on it um and I've been getting the emails about this so I was like you know today might be the last day because it's St. Patrick's Day so I just wanted to take advantage of it but definitely do it it's so good if there's a spinning class near you highly recommend it so yeah anyway I am going to end off the vlog here I hope you guys really enjoyed today's vlog I feel like it was a little random I don't know it was a day in my life it was like a like a healthy day in my life like trying cycle bar and then having an acai bowl which is like my new favorite thing I'm going to be having those every single day and my new blender I'm so happy with it best purchase it was like $140 but wow it was well worth it and yeah obviously went to the beach though that's pretty much a day it's a pretty standard day in my life honestly I'm living the dream here I'm living in Florida I get to go for walks during the day after work I go and spend time by the beach I'm building up a little tan which is really nice I got a good like sweat sesh in and I'm really trying to go and do some sort of workout um like at least every second day so like whether it's a run or it's working out at the gym with Justin now a spin class and then obviously like daily walks multiple times throughout the day just for my sanity so yeah that's pretty much how life is going I know a lot of you guys are loving the Florida Florida vlog so I'm very happy with that obviously my mood has changed a lot I think seasonal depression really is real and in Connecticut I was just not very happy because because it's just like so dark and so cold all the time so I really am just loving life here so that's always really good so I'm really happy so yeah just wanted to share that with you guys little life update how I'm liking Florida and I know a lot of you are really happy that I'm liking Florida so so am I because obviously it was a bit of a risk moving kind of far away from family but I'm really excited and then Justin's parents are coming this weekend so I'm so excited to spend time with them and just kind of show them all of the good spots that we have found so yeah with that all being said I hope you guys really enjoyed tonight's or today's vlog um subscribe if you guys have not subscribed already we're trying to hit 8.5k 
okay. I've been stuck at like 8.3, 8.4 for literally, it feels like it's been at least six months. And honestly, it probably has. Like it's been forever. So definitely go ahead and subscribe. Show me some love. Comment below. That all helps my video. Like it as well. So go ahead and leave something nice in the comments. You know, all the all these kind of in, little engagements really help my channel. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you all in the next one. And this has probably been the longest outro. So anyway, love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.